if you don't use Google Classroom, how would you get a folder of a slides per student? There are many ways, but I made alicekeeler.com slash folder of slides. So let's try that out. So I'm going to go to alicekeeler.com slash folder of slides. I'm going to make a copy. And what you're going to want to do is get your students' names and emails into columns A and B. I had someone that was using this to do it with all their classes. They would all their classes in one folder, but be able to sort it by period. So I have a column for period that would be optional. What you're looking for is the per student menu up at the top. I'm going to do per student. I'm going to authorize the add-on. Once you've authorized the add-on, you want to go to Create Folder. And this creates a folder in your Google Drive. Now that just makes the folder. So don't forget to go back to Per Student and make slides. So now what it's doing is going through the list of student names and creating a Google Slides for each student and putting their name in, it, in the folder. If you've included an email address, which is not required, the slides will be shared with that student. Once the slides have been created, a pop-up will let you know, and you'll find the link to the slides here in column D. Now, what does this allow you to do is if you use alicekeeler.com slash first slide or any add-on that requires that you have a folder in Google Drive with Google Slides per student, this gets you started. So now that you have this folder, you can either open them up individually or use it in conjunction with alicekeeler.com slash first slide.